Good afternoon, students. It's Miss Kinji, and I'm very happy to be back with you again for a wonderful art lesson on the Native American culture. As you already know, the Native Americans were in California first, and they came this way because they followed the buffalo. The buffalo was plentiful at that time. And we know that the Chumash and the Pajaro Native Americans were here in this region, from Big Sur all the way through to San Francisco. The Native Americans are a very sacred people. And because of that, our earth has been restored for all these years. When it was time to create a totem pole, they would all go into the forest and they would seek out a cedar redwood tree because it was the most durable, but they would only take one of the trees that had fallen in order to keep the balance of the earth. And before they removed the tree, they would pray together to ask permission from the gods if they could use the tree to create the totem pole. I will be showing you a short video in just a few minutes where you can witness this happening. The totem pole, it was more of a family uh, creation and they used it in the family to respect their elders and to respect nature. So I'm very excited that we will be creating a totem pole. In just a few minutes, I will let you know what supplies we will need. So enjoy the video. And behind me is an old growth western red cedar. At one time, the cedars went all the way to the shoreline, and they're a couple thousand years old. The trees were so thick you couldn't walk through the forest, the old growth. There's quite a few old growth cedars yet but they're hard to come by. And so we worked with the U.S. Forest Service here, and there's one tree that fell from this spot. It got undermined by all the wind and the rain and the snow, and it finally fell. And so when we talked to the Forest Service, they said we could have this log for the National Library of Medicine project as well. And so we're really fortunate to have some elders from the Lummi Nation and uh, some trained uh, traditional uh, young persons from Navajo Nation that have come here to help us pray for this this tree here and the one that's already down. We come here today to pay honor. This man that's going to take you home, not to take your life, but to give you new life, to transform you, that you will bring hope. Our lesson today is the study of the totem pole, the various animals and their meanings. So our learning goal is students will learn about the Native Americans sacred practices of making a totem pole. They will learn about the animals and colors portrayed on the totem pole and their meaning by drawing and designing a colorful totem pole. Here are some interesting questions to ask your students to inspire the lesson on the totem pole. Our supplies for today are three toilet paper rolls, pencil, tape, glue or glue stick will be fine, your scissors, and markers if you have them available, and crayons always work. Also, if you have a Sharpie or a black marker, that would be beneficial. Okay, so go right ahead and take your three toilet paper rolls and tape them together. So just put them like so, and then wrap your tape around each one until you have all of them taped together, just like this. 
Okay, take your paper and fold it in half. And we wanna fold it in half so that when we cut it, it will be doubled. Our first symbol that we are going to tr draw is the beaver. And the beaver was the old and wise builder of creativity and artistic determination. The beaver is symbolized as being strong and has a sense of family and building dreams in the family. So we are going to use our Sharpie. And if you just have a pencil, you can use your pencil to draw the beaver. So let's go up and around on both sides. And then come down. And darken it a little bit on each side. And if you don't have a Sharpie, you can use an ink pen to draw the beaver. Okay? All right. And then we're going to put in his eyes. The eyes were really large. and then circles for the eyeballs, okay? A little triangle for the nose, and then two circles beneath it. For the mouth, we're going to come around and for the teeth, the two beaver teeth will be in the center and then just put a line across and then two, three lines here and two, three lines on that side. Okay, then we're gonna come around and we're gonna do that over here. Okay, we're going to go back and fix that up and then just make a line coming around the eyes on both sides, here and in here. And then these will be the beaver paws. And then we're just going to put a line in the middle. All right, and now I will speed up the camera to color. So students, when we cut it out, we want to make sure we can keep it connected to the back side of the paper. So that way it'll be sturdier when we mount it on the totem pole. So remember to cut straight down when you get to the bottom of the symbol and then cut in a little bit on each side so that when we mount it, the paws will remain extended. All right. Okay, our next symbol will be the frog. And make sure, students, when you fold your paper, always fold your paper in half so it's more sturdy, and you draw your frog, make sure that the folded area is at the top, okay? So that when we draw our frog, we will be drawing the frog in this direction, all right? So when we cut it out, we can keep our flaps for the totem pole. The frog was a symbol for new life, uh, the frog also lived in the water and on the earth, so it represented diversity, and it was stable and rich in color. So let's get started and draw the frog. So we're going to draw an oval. Okay, and then we're going to come around for the head of the frog. Put in the eyes. I noticed that a lot of the symbols of the Native Americans, the eyes are quite large and the nose. And then just one more line right there underneath the frog's chin. And then we'll come out and around for 
the legs on both sides. And students, remember if your art is a little different, that is perfectly fine because we're all artists and we have a little bit varied interpretation of our art, so that is fine. All right, and we'll put a circle in the middle of the body and then just some half shapes coming around. All right, and then three each side and for the back legs. A circle here, one here, one here, and one here. All right, and now we're going to color that in. So I cut out the frog. Remember when you cut out the frog to cut his legs in between here, but keep this piece at the bottom. So when you wrap them around, you'll be able to see the legs. Okay, students, now we are going to make our last symbol, which will be the owl. But before we do, once again, fold your paper. And this time, make sure the crease is at the bottom as we draw the owl. And the owl represented wisdom, watchful perseverance, respect, and it also may be associated with passing. So let's start with the head where we're going to come around a little bit looking like a shape, like a heart at the top ears and then the eyes once again they come down this time on both sides a little circle in the middle and then a big circle around each eye okay the nose is actually like a beak and there's two little squares on each side of the head. An oval here and an oval on the other side. Come down for each wing, cross it over and then just make the feathers. The body will come down on each side and come to a point. Make a parallel symbol right in the middle and an oval. The half circle in each oval with a little tiny half circle on the shoulder area. All right, then the back of his legs will come down with a circle in the middle. Two squares on each wing. And now I will color it in So students, I went ahead and assembled the totem pole. And of course we have the beaver, the frog, and the owl. I hope you learned a lot about our Native American brothers and sisters. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a beautiful day and stay well.